Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a tutorial which is going to be based around the idea of doing something sort of simple crafting. And maybe something, you know, vaguely similar that you'd find in Minecraft. But this is not going to show you how to make an infantry system and hold all your items. It's going to show you how to pick up an item and then based on what you picked up there it'll set some values and you can press a button and you'll craft another item out of that item so it's based on just initially you find the item then you can craft it straight away it's not like holding the item collecting some more items it's going to be based one item produce one thing and you can change it depending on what I show you here and um, everything that you need to know so if you look at my scene now it's similar to most of my other videos. I've got a first person controller which is tagged player. I've got directional light, whatever's in my scene. And what I've got here is, if I zoom in on the object, I've just got, it's meant to represent some logs. So all I've done is made three cylinders in Unity and just grouped them all together and named them logs. Now I've got a box collider on these. So I create, I deleted each of the colliders off these logs and put one box collider over the whole group so I just went component physics box collider um, just so I'd be able to have something to make them be able to be picked up and what I've also done is my logs there I've got a plank here that I've made and all it is is to create a new prefab if you right click on your project panel create prefab you'll get an empty box what you can do is create the object in your scene so all I did was went and created a game object other cube made it a long um, I added well I kept the box collider, kept the mesh renderer, added a rigid body to it and made sure use gravity was ticked and from this side I just dragged the plank into the prefab slot so a prefab just makes an object that you can always drag back into your scene with everything that you've set so with a rigid body and stuff um, so that's the basis of what we need. So we're going to be able to pick this up and produce a plank out of these logs. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new JavaScript file and call this um, pick up logs. And then I'm going to open up Mono Develop. And when that's open, we're going to just delete these two functions and we're going to write a private variable mouse over equals false. Oops, false. And then we're going to have um, two more variables, one called length bar, have it colon integer equal to 150, and then another variable width bar, set it to integer equals 25. Now, what we're going to need to do is actually make it so that when we hover over the object, we know we can pick it up to give an indication that we can. So, a function on mouse over. And if you add the two brackets and then the curly brackets, say mouse over is equal to true. And then we'll say function on mouse exit. Add the two curly brackets and we'll say mouse over equals false. So that's all well and good. So when we mouse over, sets it true. When we exit the object, it sets it to false. Then we'll write function on GUI. Add our two curly brackets and we'll say if mouse over is set to true add the two curly brackets then inside here we'll say destroy oh no we won't I need to set my GUI first G GUI dot box open brackets new rect open brackets 200 long 200 down then we'll set length bar width bar close the brackets, put a comma and we'll say pick up logs and we'll close that semicolon and now we want to write a function called on mouse down so when we actually click on the item we'll say destroy game object and now we're actually going to have to reference another script so what we're going to actually need to do is go back into unity create another javascript and we're going to call this manage env for inventory or manage whatever we picked up really 
and then we're going to say um, in here we're going to say variable manage script colon manage inventory or inv equals game object dot find first person controller close that up dot get component in brackets manage in with a semicolon then we'll say manage script dot and now we need to actually change boolean in our other script so what we're going to do is um, I'll delete these in here we'll say variable log collected boolean equals false if I save that save that and then we'll write in here that manage script dot log collected is equal to true we'll save that and that's all we need to do there and what we'll do we'll go into unity and we'll on our logs here we'll put, pick up logs and if we run the game you'll notice that my logs are there if I hover over it says pick up logs if I click it it does what it needs to do but I haven't actually set it to do anything now if I go into my manage infantry script what I'm going to do is create a private variable here and call this show GUI set that to as boolean set that equal to false and then I'm going to create two um, variables one called prefab and call it in type transform and then another variable called player and set that as transform we'll call this plank actually so we know what's going on oops then what I want to say is we want to put right a right function update add the two curly brackets and say that if log collected is set to true then add the two curly brackets and say show GUI is equal to true then we'll say if log collected is equal to true and input dot get key open brackets p close the two brackets put the curly brackets and say we'll set a function called make plank but before we do that we'll set a function on GUI add the two curly brackets and say if show GUI is set to true then we'll do something so we'll actually copy this here from our other script just paste that in but what we're going to do is set it to 200 200 200 and 25 and then what we'll write in here instead is press p to craft your plank And then under here, as we wrote up here to, to the function to make the plank, we'll say function make plank, add the um, curly brackets and say instantiate in brackets plank, comma player dot transform transform dot position then we will say comma quaternion dot identity close the bracket semicolon and then say log collected equals false and say show gy equals false 
So essentially I'll run through what the script's doing. So when we hover over it, we're going to show a GUI. If we exit it, it's going to set to false, so we're not going to see it. On mouse down, it's going to destroy the object, so the logs. And then we're going to find the script which is attached to our first controller and set the logs collected boolean to true. And when logs collected equals true, it's going to actually show the GUI. So the GUI is there and it'll say you can craft something. Then if collect if you've got some logs which is set to true and you press P, you will set the function called make plank. And make plank just instantiates the object that we set up here, so the plank, the prefab that we made and it's going to instantiate it right next to the player and then it's going to set logs collected to false and show, show GUI to false because that means once it's been created we won't have any more logs and it won't show the GUI anymore until we have another game object which we pick up which has got the same script attached so if we go back into Unity now and we go on to the first person controller and we add the manage infantry then what we're going to do is add our prefab here and then we're going to add our first book controller here and we'll press play and we can go up to the object if we hover over it we can see pick up logs we'll left click to see that um, now it'll say press P to craft if we press P you'll notice that I just dropped a plank and all the GUIs have disappeared if I press P again nothing happens so then you could do something with that you could pick it up using infantry to pick something like that up or manage it all that way but this is just a very simple way to take an object set some values to true when you've got it, got it on the player um, and then make something from that instantly so if you're making a game where you collected an item and had to make it straight away to give you health maybe if you had to pick up objects to craft things but that's just a very simple way and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks very much